Well, you save, save, save your whole life, and then it comes time to retire, and you've got to start spending. But for many baby boomers, spending that money isn't as fun as they thought it would be. Well, it's a total, it's a total mind change. You got to start thinking about spending. So Daryl Bryant is one of the area's leading financial advisors. He hosts a weekly retirement radio show in Omaha that airs Saturday mornings on 1110 KFAB, and he helps folks in Omaha make the financial transition into retirement. Welcome back, Daryl. Good, Good to see you. Thank you. Good, Good to be here. You. Yep. Well, when it comes to actually retire, everyone saves up all this money mm -hmm. and then they're terrified the moment they hit retirement to actually mm -hmm. save it. So why is that? Yeah, we're afraid to spend once we get to the retirement, mm -hmm. kind of the life after the 401k thing. Had a client in the office yesterday and this is very, very typical of people who are getting ready to retire. You've done a great job saving. Generally, it's one of the two of the couple who's the big saver. In this case, it was the, the fella who's a great saver really pretty decent little, uh, had learned a lot about saving money and uh, you know managing money and so forth over all these years. Now here's a couple with um, pensions, three different pensions plus Social Security which which will add up to nearly their total income needs. So that's about, in this case, about $75,000 in what, what I would call guaranteed income streams or known income. Mm -hmm. And they have an income desire of say $90,000, let's just okay, say, sure. okay? Well, that's only a $15,000 difference between 75 and 90. Mm -hmm. And then here, which is so typical, here's a couple that has plenty of money. Let's just say they're approaching a seven-figure saving, so nearly a million dollars, but they're afraid to actually spend. Mm -hmm. So my job is to convince them and to show them with really reasonable math and really great products how to be absolutely certain that they are never going to outlive their money uh, and actually could could increase the lifestyle. So my question for the two of them is, now wait a second, you're only $15,000 away, right. you're yeah. 69 years old, you only have a few good years of travel left in you, you know, maybe seven, eight years, right? And then you're gonna kind of settle back, you're feeling pretty frisky now, you know, you're in good health, you're mobile and everything, why wouldn't we set up an income plan that's a little higher for a while? Mm -hmm. Why don't we take you to 125, 130, sure. and then maybe back you down to what right. you asked for in the first place. Yeah. But no, everybody's afraid to do that because they're paralyzed at the thought of what if. Yeah, right. so they got close to a million dollars and all they really need to do is come up with $15,000 to hit what their needs are right. on an annual basis. So right. how do you get them to overcome that fear? How do you how okay. do you explain that to them? You just show it to them on paper? Yeah, so here's the thing is we call them the, the, the four fixable fears and it is what paralyzes everybody as they go into retirement. First of all, you have a habit, okay, before I get to that, they have a habit of saving, 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 and now we're thinking about decumulation as opposed to accumulation, right? So the four fixable fears would be, what if the market declines and I'm invested in the market? Well, that is fully avoidable, right? All we have to do is allocate accordingly, and how about not having some of your dollars in Go the more market? conservative, Sure, right? just become more conservative, and we'll show you how to do that. What about uh, the, the possibility of big healthcare expenses? Right? Um, what if one of us gets sick, et cetera? Well, can't we insure that away? Can't we transfer that risk to an insurance company and simply have a known budgetary, you know, uh, something we put in our budget that will just wipe that fear out? What if, what if we needed long-term care, right? We go into a long-term care facility, we're afraid we have to spend down all of our assets. Mm -hmm. Well, again, that's transferable as well. And then finally, what about longevity risk? What if I live too long? What if both of us live to be 98 years mm -hmm. old? You know, that's mm -hmm. the biggest fear of the retiree is outliving their money. Mm -hmm. Or really, it's it's a matter of a, a market decline or something that would happen would be terrible and cause them to not have enough money to to uh, fund their entire life. Mm -hmm. So, but all of these are absolutely either completely avoidable or transferable. And mm -hmm. so that's what we do is just show people how to transfer the risk or avoid it all together. Right. Well, it's important to have a distribution plan. Mm -hmm. You help people put that in place. Sure. Well, once you do have that, how often would someone need to update or make changes to it? Do they need to make changes Absolutely. to it? Absolutely. Um, at least once a year. Mm -hmm. You know, at least once a year. We want to have them in. Uh, I had a couple of reviews yesterday. How are we doing? Uh, you know, are, are we on track? You know, could, I, could we go buy a car? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. really kind of simple questions that people just like to talk through. And so that's really important when they come in to do that. Yeah, but having that district reusion plan in place, that, that really helps, I think, erase some of those fears, doesn't it? Is that what you found? If you've got that plan in place, some of the fears on spending sure. maybe come down a little bit? Yeah, yeah. W once they see their income plan on the big screen in the conference room, and they say, here's what we wanted, here's what we have, here's how much we're short, and here's all the fixes. Mm -hmm and they study that for about 30 seconds. They say, wow, we can do it. Let's do it. And right. so off they go. So it's probably the fear of the unknown. If you Absolutely. don't know exactly know what you're going to have and how much money 
uh, you can spend over the course of retirement, right. I'm sure it would make you nervous. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. So yeah. we'll show you how to fix it. You just come on in and we'll just dig in. We know the questions to ask. We have a checklist, mm -hmm. probably some things you haven't thought of yet, and then we'll just we'll just show you how to fix it. Yeah. I got to tell you, I am nowhere near being retired, unfortunately. Really? <laughs> nowhere near unless <laughs> too bad I get for that you. lottery, right? Right. I'm right. a little bit closer. But I, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done when you're retired sure. and to prepare for that, but going to your offices, working with your people, people yeah. can definitely be confident that it's all going to work Absolutely. out. And the freshly baked chocolate chip cookies, right? If you Doesn't are nearing retirement or nuts. already retired and you don't really have a plan in place yet, yeah, you may want to get one in today free of charge, grab a pen and jot this number down. 402-932-2141. Once again, that's 402-932-2141 to see if you qualify for a complimentary distribution plan for retirement. This offer is only good for the next 30 minutes. You so got 30 minutes. So it's, it's, what, it's 10 after 9 right now. So about uh, oh, 940. Yep. Right? Yeah. Next yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. And you can also visit Daryl's website for more information. D. Bryant Retirement Strategies. Dot com. That's the website. Daryl, thanks a lot for coming you got in. It. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you make it under, simple to understand. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, you, you do. Uh, guests of the morning.